What's up, everybody? Well, I finally got my Lincoln back, so very excited. Hopefully this time it doesn't blow up on the maiden journey. Just a quick, quick, quick walk around. And there we go, so let's hop in. Somebody's mowing their lawn, but almost can't hear it at all in here. Got my little radar detector, even though we're not going to go fast at all. I'm going to drive this like an actual old man. Probably going to piss people off like crazy, but still need to detail the inside and get a new one of these. And I need to do something about this dash. It's really starting to crack pretty bad. I got some product, but I don't know if it's going to help. It might be too far gone. I might just have to get a new dash. But it is what it is. I'm sure that's not insanely expensive on a car this old. It's freaking 2010 for crying out loud. But all right, let's start it up. Well, all right guys, we are in the Lincoln. Got some gas. Costed about 64 bucks just to go from a half tank up to full. Such is the life of driving a car with 93 octane, so it's no big deal. I knew what I was getting into. But man, that used to cost me a whole lot less at the pump. It'd be awfully nice if that would go down soon. Because even though I can afford it, it's still no fun. And I sit there and think about what about, like, I remember calling up once and I saw somebody who only put like 10 bucks in the tank. And I'm sitting there like, man. Either they didn't like, like they're like my Fiero and they just don't have a gas gauge, or man, they're hurting for money and they can't afford to put any more than that in there. Alright, coming up to a freaking light, so I'm just going to put the camera down a little bit, because I don't really know the legality of driving around holding a camera in my hand. So. We'll just let that guy go too, because I haven't stopped yet. Oh, road work ahead, what? We're like driving this like an old man. Like I said, we are not going to push this thing at all. All right, it literally looks like there's like a flagger. So I, it's honestly one of my favorite roads to go down, but I just don't want to deal with that shit. So I'm not. I'm just going to pretend like I'm getting on the freeway and go around, I guess. Oh, well, unforeseen detour, but whatever. Yeah, you can obviously tell I'm not getting at the fr on the freeway at no 40 miles an hour. Do this all legal, use our turn signal and everything. K-Band. Usually K-Band is bullshit, but every once in a blue moon it's not bullshit, so... I'm gonna be a little weary. Oh, what is this guy doing? There's just some guy getting into his car. Hopefully he's okay. Oh, it looks like he's just dealing with dog stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I can't really hear the turbos as much anymore, but whatever. We were hearing the turbos because they were all fucked up, so it is what it is. I'd rather have a working car than hear some turbos any day. Hell yeah. I still have fun with this thing. It may not be made for cornering, but at the same time, it's still a fun-ass car. It can still hold its own in the corners pretty well considering it's a 4,300 pound luxury vehicle. Hell, my friend even admits that it'll outhandle his Charger RT. I mean, that's a way more sportier thing. Never know when there's gonna be a cop or something. And like I said, I don't know if it's legal for me to do what I'm doing right now. Just drive around holding a camera. I mean, I can do it no problem without going over the line or having it interfere with it. But there's some people that can't even talk on the phone without, like, causing a 20-car pileup. So, there's that. All right. 
put it down because we're getting up to a little four-way stop here and he didn't even really stop so we'll just let him go on his merry way he's obviously which you call it got somewhere he's got to be well i'm not gonna lie a lot of people do uh what we call in our state a michigan stop which is just rolling through it at like three miles an hour so i guess i shouldn't be too surprised man that thing was like a sporty freaking jeep i thought it was an off-roader but it seemed like it had drag radials and they were sticking out like a foot past the uh fenders interesting But yeah, just going for a little leisurely drive here. Oh, this guy's a turning. See what I mean? I can record and not tailgate, crash into people in front of me or anything. Like I said, we're taking it easy, so we're not revving this thing up at all. Like 3,000 is probably gonna be our absolute tops. Because if you go any slower than that, it's like pissing people off, you know? And I don't want to be that guy. I yell at people. You've seen me yell at people who do that. I'd be a giant hypocrite if I was going to, like, hold up traffic. And besides, let's be honest. If this thing, even with less than a 1,000 miles in its break end, is just going to break again, then there's something really fucking wrong with these things. But why would it do it all of a sudden? It was doing just fine, then all of a sudden, out of the blue, it just had enough. And then what I think happened is the pipes were off and not tightened and they came off and I went down some of that crappy roads where we oil them and put just basically gravel on top of it and we have the cars just go over it and that's what uh, basically pushes it all down kind of takes the job of the steamroller thing but I think some rocks from that got into my freaking pipes and then blew up the turbos that's what I think happened because I had to tighten those and put those back on when I got home I thought that was the sound that I was hearing, in fact. Just like wind escaping. Coming to a complete stop. All right. Cotman Park. We shan't be going there. It's mostly just like, it says park, but in reality, I think it's a golf course. And I'm not much of a golfer. I don't know if I've got any subscribers that golf, but I don't know. I'm just not very good at it. Though I will say I like the movie Happy Gilmore. But I think that was more due to the fact that Am Sandler was just being funny. I mean, hell, if I could just, like, power it like that and hit 400 yards every fucking time, I probably would enjoy that. Somebody was still down there. It seemed like a motorcycle was just still down in the little park, but no one else. No one else was there at all. Yeah, but these are some other my oh, some other fun roads. I didn't really want to take it to the freaking track on its first maiden voyage. I took it there last time and I wasn't beating on it or anything, but just to the spirit of going back there, just I don't like. Just like I don't like going down the road where I hit the deer with my Fiero. It just I don't like it. Uh, please get in near fucking side of the road. That'd be just great. God. Is it really that hard to stay in the freaking road? I'm literally sitting here recording a video and driving one-handed and doing a better job than other people. Come on now, do better. Although, to be honest, it looked like an older lady, but again, if you're so old you can't like keep it in the lines because of like the sun or whatever, then I, I'm sorry, but you probably just shouldn't be driving anymore just for the safety of everybody else. But all right, I think that's more than enough. We're getting to the end of this road, so I'm just gonna go turn the camera off, relax, and enjoy my nice maiden cruise having my Lincoln back. I'll turn the camera on, obviously, if it blows up again, but I hope to God it doesn't do that. But anyway, guys, till the next video, peace out.